Hey, it's Daryl again. Um, in this video, I'm just going to say something about artificial intelligence. Um, a friend of mine, uh, me and a friend were chatting uh, ages ago now, and maybe even it was a year or a couple of years ago. Um, and he came to a conclusion, something that I just can't get out of my head because I think he's totally right about artificial intelligence. So just to give you some context, I did a computer science degree and my friend also did computer science degree. He's a really brilliant computer programmer. And he, he noticed something about artificial uh, intelligence. People are running around at the moment, uh, Elon Musk and Bill Gates, they're saying how artificial intelligence will be really dangerous um, because once the artificial intelligence starts learning for itself, because it's powered by computers, it can just um, it can just expand at an incredibly fast rate. So if you've got some some generalized artificial intelligence running on a computer and the computer's connected to the internet, if it can expand its search to search the whole internet and maybe expand its influence to run on other processes like take advantage of cloud computing or something like that then it's going to expand um, really really quickly and take control of the situation and people are like oh yeah but how do we know that it's going to be evil and take over the world and all of that well my friend pointed out as i was saying that there is actually already an artificial intelligence which has taken over the world and you can see it's quite obviously not very beneficial for humans it's totally beneficial for a few humans and it's pretty terrible for quite a lot of others so so um i was trying to think about uh, yeah you could so i just made some notes i'm going to look down and read them um so what what his analogy is is the the world global economy is actually an artificial intelligence so it's a distributed artificial intelligence which has the intelligence of millions or billions of people who who will participate in the global economy and all of the people in the global economy are trying to make the rational best decisions to get whatever it is that they want you know maybe it's get a, a roof over your head and get some food every day um, you know maybe it's to get some billions of dollars and control giant power corporations um, you know whatever it is everybody wants a different thing so so the analogy of this is no different than artificial intelligence. In, in fact, it's a distributed artificial intelligence that runs in really slow time. So, so we can't even we can't even control the economy in an effective way that um, that 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 gives everybody a good livelihood. You know, we we have like I think there's still about a billion people in the world who live in war torn or poverty stricken countries that basically every day is a struggle to find enough firewood to cook dinner and enough food to find to cook. So, you know, that's quite a problem. Um, we have um, sort of rampant pollution going on. Like um, in my country, uh, the, the, the economic artificial intelligence is optimized for, for milk production, which has produced cow production, which has produced methane production and water runoff. So now, now in my country, a lot of the rivers and streams are polluted with cattle effluent, which is just, you know, that's just rubbish. Um, you know, around the world we're burning all the coal and oil and natural gas, and that's, um, you know, producing um, climate change. I, th I prefer to call that um, climate instability, uh, because it sort of, at the moment, it's coming out as giant storms. Uh, seems to be that more people are getting floods and fires than ever, and that seems to be caused by that climate instability. You know, so these are these are the these are the accidental byproducts of the of the artificial intelligence. So so when when Bill Gates and Elon Musk are talking about the safety of artificial intelligence, this this means the controls that control the artificial intelligence. Um, anyway, so. I think I think you get I think I get, you get my point that that the externalities of the economic system are are, are directly are directly um, the analogous to the externalities of an out of control artificial intelligence. The only difference is is that even though our global economy is running really slowly 
like I mean it's really only been ramping up by a few percent each year for the last sort of 350 years or so um, you can see that it's actually totally out of control and and if you, if you can't see that the if you can't see that that's how it behaves you know just look around are there poor and homeless people in your country well if there's any poor or homeless people in your country you can see that this artificial intelligence of the global economy is um, is already out of control and not producing the best results for everybody you know it's producing fabulous results for a few extremely rich people um, and um, quite good results for um, you know two billion people have really great lives in the world I, th I think and and then what the other the other five billion people um, are, you know largely a lot of people's lives are getting better you know you, you get access to more stuff but but overall if if this out of control artificial intelligence uh, ends up just using way too many resources way too quickly we're, we're gonna the economy will eventually crash and uh, and then when it does crash it won't be able to be restarted very easily because most of the high quality um, coal and oil and gas and metal ores um, you know iron ore and copper ore and cobalt and lithium all those things will have been um, exploited already and spread all around the world but it will be really hard to find enough of anything to start something new if it all if it all goes terribly wrong so so definitely um, definitely we're at the at the um, moment where I think Elon Musk was saying that the AlphaGo artificial intelligence um, they were predicting that it would be able to beat humans in 20 years time but but when they really got onto it, it it only took sort of I think he said it was a year and a half I might might be mistaken there but but now the um, you know a, a puzzle that was so difficult that um, they never thought that a, a computer would be able to beat a human I think that the computer reliably beats humans now not not necessarily every time but but often enough that it's um, that you you can see that this artificial intelligence has really come along um, very well in a short amount of time so yeah so uh, you know with that point you know artificial intelligence we, we really do have to we really do have to keep that under control but because um, it's going to be developed by a lot of people all over the place relatively simultaneously well I mean it might be that when you get to general artificial intelligence whoever gets their first wins because the 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 first one that works will work so well that it will be able to basically bring um, all of the profits to the first uh, organization that creates it um, but also it will bring all of the um, unexpected um, disastrous effects to everybody simultaneously as well because because I guess once the once the artificial intelligence is able to um, uh, recruit computers over the internet to work for it you know um, it, it, it would be able to um, dominate global resources uh, very quickly so that is it is quite a concern so I understand that this is very different from the videos that I normally do on my channel but um, I just I just saw a video online and thought that it needed um, another response I think I think particularly the the person who the, the video I watched the the people he he, he said like there are many things that will bring us uh, benefits in artificial intelligence and perhaps they already are so so for example he said like you know um, artificial intelligence that looks through your medical data it might be able to work out whether you've got you know, it looks like you're going to develop diabetes um, you know if an AI can work out who's likely to develop um, some type of disorder like that um, then you can be treated before you actually get sick so so that's an advantage um, another example was that AI in driving um, so so as 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 uh, we get computers that take over the day-to-day -day driving of cars they, they're never distracted and and they um, you know always put in really good uh, effort you know they're not tired um, late in the evening if you're driving driving home you know tired 
um, you know, the um, artificial intelligence driving your car doesn't go to parties and get drunk and then drive home. So, so if if we have um, these sorts of um, these are not what do you what do you call this um, narrow AI the artificial intelligence that controls just a very small thing. Yeah, these these are these are very beneficial, but there's a very big difference between narrow AI and general AI. General AI is a computer program that can basically solve any problem just by if you can describe the problem to the to the to the general AI um, with a reasonable amount of detail, and it can go on the internet and fill in the gaps of the detail to to actually understand what you mean. Then, then the general AI is supposed to be able to answer any question. You know, you might be like, "Oh, I want to build this building. I'm not certain if the building will be strong enough to stand up in these weather conditions." You know, you get a, a you get an AI to go out on the internet, learn engineering, and then check your calculations, and it will tell you whether your structure is going to be strong enough. That's that's really awesome. But if you've got a machine that can do that, you know, it can, it can solve any any problem, even even problems that. Generally, people um, don't want to go into like, you know. Oh, I've got this. Um, I've got this explosive. I'm not sure if it's explodey enough. Um, hey, 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 AI, can you help me um, make a much more explodey version of this thing? Well, that's that's not good. Um, and then you know, genetics. Like, hey, AI, I'm trying to make this um, disease much more. Um, much more catchy because I want to infect as, as many people with the disease as possible. Well, that's that's terrible as well, you know. So, and the, and the AI AI will will probably be stupid. It doesn't it doesn't know what are good problems to solve, like making a stronger, safer building versus bad bad problems to solve, making an explodey a bomb. So, you know, these are the it does the AI is not going to have any moral moral intelligence very unlikely to have any moral intelligence um you know and and even if it did have moral intelligence there's lots of people that aren't very moral who could be controlling it anyway they're not gonna oh i can and then just turn off the moral intelligence section of the computer program and get it to make something that's just truly hideous so that is what the that's the problem with AI safety. But yeah, there's a big difference between narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI drives your car, solves a particular problem, like a focusing and autofocus lens. That's that's narrow AI. But general AI it can can solve any problem, like teach me how to play any game better than anybody else, you know, that that kind of thing. Or or very general, um, solve any problem just by asking it a question and it can go out on the internet and and find the answer and then help you solve it. That's that's what general AI is about. And general AI, I, general AI is the the potentially dangerous type. And the reason why it's potentially dangerous is because you know once it gets going, it expands its intelligence so fast, and then recruits more resources itself to in to increase its intelligence really fast. So, yeah, effectively you end up with. Um, an explosion, an uncontrolled explosion of intelligence. I think Sam Harris um, calls it the intelligence explosion. I think I think that's where I heard that phrase from. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Just a small bit of talk on artificial intelligence and the danger of general artificial intelligence and the safety problem of artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.